long. A lot of y'all been asking me every time I cook pig feet, cuz what's the recipe? Cuz what's the recipe? Cuz what's the recipe? Cuz what's the recipe? Today, I'm about to show y'all how I cook pig feet my way. All right, the first thing we gonna do, we gonna take some water, one part water, and we gonna take one part vinegar. One part water, one part vinegar. Throw our pig feet in that joint. And one lemon. Drop that thing in there. Now we're gonna let this soak. Wait, my hair went in pig feet juice? Oh no. Now that I got my pig feet soaking, I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna season my pot. Now this is one of the most important steps. Season your pot. You don't wanna put the pig feet in too fast. So when you put your ingredients in there, while that's soaking, you gotta let your pot boil. All right, I got my pot together. You don't wanna fill your pot up too much. So I probably got this pot to about, uh, this, this, this ain't the best idea I ever had. The water right here. I got water right here and I'm gonna fill the rest up with some chicken broth. You know what, Rena gonna kill me cause I think she had this to cook for something. I don't know why I just swung my head like that. Yeah, she gonna kill me, I just used all her chicken broth. These are the ingredients that I have. I got celery, onion, red bell pepper, and green bell pepper. Do anybody know what's the technical name of these bell peppers other than the green bell pepper and the red bell pepper? Me neither. Add them. Now this right here is the key. This is the kicker. This right here is the key. This right here is the kicker. You got the bull deck pink sauce. You can use the red one, but just know enter at your own risk because it's going to be a little bit more spicier. But this one right here, baby, yeah, it's going to knock your socks off. Do you hear me? So we going for it. This is my secret ingredients to the best pig feet of my entire life. So I'm going to add that. Then I'm going to cut up my lemon. I'm going to squeeze that in now. Yes, sir. Squeeze that in now. And guess what I'm going to do? Drop them. You gon' drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's drop it like it's drop it like it's hot. You know I need a dance break, yeah, yeah. You know I need a dance break, yeah, yeah. You know I'm cooking in the kitchen, yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> wait a minute. All right, we got all of our ingredients. They cooking, they rolling, and they boiling. The key is this pot right here. Let me show you. This pot right here with all that goodness and all that gracious. The key to that is to let that boil. And to, how's my hair? I gotta get a haircut tomorrow, boo. You ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. The key is to let this pot boil for at least 30 minutes so all of your vegetables become translucent. Because that's where the flavor in the pig feet gonna come from, that pot. So if you put the pig feet in that pot too early, then the pig feet ain't gonna be able to do what the pig feet doing. So while those are soaking, no. While those are soaking, this fit. Yeah, I lost you there, ain't it? Yeah, I, 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 I kind of lost you there, and the camera didn't zoom in. It's probably broke. It's it's probably broke. It's probably broke. Yeah, it, it, it's zooming in too far. It's probably broke. But while this is boiling and that is soaking, I shall see y'all when all of this comes together. Get into it. Get into it. You see how those are just boiling, and they almost just like boom, bam, bam. See how those onions became that right there? So that... Like, almost choked ain't it but I done scrubbed and cleaned my pig feet look at them some of my guns right there I done scrubbed them I done did what needed to be done baby it might not look good right now but baby in about four hours it's truly fit to be a treat look at that some of them and now the journey begins 
four hours. Four hours. I cook mine on four hours and I usually turn them on medium. Let me put that on medium. I put them on medium and I cook them for about four hours. And at that, but at that third hour, I turn the pot off and I let them soak. So cook them about four hours on medium. Some people cook theirs in a slow cooker, but I'm actually boiling mine, like boiling them. So I'll boil them for like three hours, boil the hell out of them. Boil the hell out of them until they tender. And I, you know, I comes over here just doing anything. Anyway, we here, boil them four hours. While we waiting on that though, you know it would not be me if I ain't just come over here and spit a little G to you, listen. While you on your journey, be selfish with your time right now. Be selfish with your time right now until you figure out what it is that you want to do. Be selfish with your life. Be selfish with your time. Be selfish with your energy. Be selfish with your money. Here's the thing. You don't owe nobody explanations as to why you're doing you right now. Whatever you see for your journey, sometimes you need to take a step back from people, take a step back from things, take a step back from their job, and figure out what you want to do because your mental health matters. So while you're going through this journey, while you're going through this process of Whatever it may be, we don't know what's in the unknown until we figure out what we want. Figure out what you want, and I promise you, your world will be a lot better, man. But a lot of times, we take time out for people and take time out for that job, and we're doing everything for everybody else that we forget about ourselves. It's time in this season for you to be selfish for you. And that's all I really got to say. So I'll see y'all in about four hours. <sighs> Before I finish this pig feed video, it's kind of hard to keep a diet around here when Rena eat wings. Neither here nor there. Back to the video. Listen, I didn't get like all of them out, but I wanted to show y'all how they looked. Oh snap, that's hot. I want to show y'all how they look whenever you take them out. What they fall off the bone. You just need, you don't even need like no knife. You just cut them up. They just gonna fall off the bone. Somebody to enjoy me a little bit. Hopefully, they fit the hit like I think they fit the hit. They spicy. Let me let them. I, I can't let my food cool off. That's just not me. Yeah. Bro. These fall off. These fall off the bone. They fall off. Look at that. They hot. But if you want your pig feet to look like this, follow the recipe. I promise you. Look at that. I promise you. They gonna be oh I forgot to pray God thank you so much once again for the food you prepared for my body. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Lord God, thank you for your blessings. Thank you for everything. Yeah. Drop in the comments right now how you cook your pig feet because I feel like anybody who want to put their pig feet up against mine. You can. These joints don't even need no hot sauce. But I just like that Frank Red Hot taste. So I'm about to do it. Drop in the comments right now how you cook your pig feet. How you clean your pig feet. Baby, but I promise you. The recipe that I just gave you. It's just going to be the best. I still got the other ones in a pot because honestly, I like mine a little firmer. But Rena, like hers, like fall off the bone. She like pig feet soup. So I got them in the back, still on. But me, 
Do you like your pig feet firm? Or do you like them like fall off the bone? I like them both for real. Yeah, I promise you. Gotta just came off of them. I'm gonna go ahead and give you that put It don't get no better. When you cook them, cook them for, like I said, I cook mine for like four hours. So it's been four hours for real. But that last like hour, I just kind of like put the pot on low. Or sometimes I like honestly turn it off and I just get that. I wasn't even gonna do no mukbang to this at all, but of course I can't just <clears throat> oh that spice. <clears throat> a two times spicy in it. Take to a whole nother level. I wasn't gonna do no mukbang or nothing. But I was about to eat them anyway. I remember back in the day, I used to look for a domesticated goddess. First of all, I got one. Secondly, most importantly, I honestly became one. Mm. Before you start looking for people to be to you what you want them to be, make sure you can do that shit within yourself. <laughs> make sure you can do that within yourself. Make sure you can provide all the requirements from for yourself that you're requiring from somebody else that we be forgetting that important role like we be wanting so much from other people whether that's a relationship your family ship your friendships like we be wanting so much from other people that we forget that we got to be there too What? I'm over here excited as hell. It's literally like, what time is it? 3.43 in the morning. And they just getting done. Because I started these late. But baby, they was worth the wait. Next time, you want to show up and you want to cook some pig feet? Cook them like this, cause baby, I ain't got nothing left but gristle, <laughs> but gristle and bone. I love y'all. Make sure y'all follow the recipe. Hit me up on Instagram at cuzzleab if you tried this recipe. I want to say I love you and I'm fit to take my ass to bed after eating pig feet.